Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, Silver Stackers. Hello, Coin Roll Hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Penny Haven, and first off, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. All right. This past weekend, there was a big flea market sale at the same building where I went to that auction recently. And I knew that they were going to have at least one vendor with coins. I'd been there before, and I, came, I went back. It was the exact same setup. There was just one vendor who had coins and a lot of exonumia, metals, tokens, things of that sort. So I went in Friday, right after work, right after the sale started, and I got a handful of things. It was super busy. Um, and some of the silver that they had was just kind of overpriced, so I didn't stick around too long. But then Sunday came around, and I felt, you know, I probably should have gone through that huge box of tokens a little bit more. So I went back, and I'm very glad I did, because I got away with a few treasures that I would have missed out on otherwise. So I'm just going to share with you a handful of the things that I got. First, I want to remind you that you can hit that Join button right down there. That's next to the subscribe button and the bell and all that. If you hit that join button, it's not going to take any of your money. It's just going to bring up a long list of benefits that you can get if you become a member of my channel. If you become a channel member, I will send you a welcome packet with stickers and other sorts of uh, Penny Haven swag and some coins. And also, you'll get first dibs on coins that I feature in my videos. A lot of coins I buy just to kind of show off and then to turn around and sell, either on eBay or other selling groups, but if you're a channel member, contact me directly, and if there's something you want, we can work something out. If you see something on my eBay store that you're interested in, let me know, and I you will get a discount. All right? So that's that. Let me show you some of the things that I got. First off, I did list a bunch of the stuff on my eBay store. So you can go and see a bunch of those. I already have them uh, listed and put away, so I'm not going to be showing those off in this video. Uh, the link to my eBay store is down below, so go there. There'll be the stuff that's most recently added at the bottom of the list, a lot of Exonumia stuff, some interesting things. So let me just show you some of the stuff that I have not listed yet, and I might not be planning to list. First, I've got a Missouri tax token and a few transit tokens. Uh, one fair on the Elmira line. Interesting shapes and cutouts. Philadelphia. Then I've got a couple encased coins. Got a common idiom associated with Benjamin Franklin. A penny saved is a penny earned. And it says with a new standard on the bottom. This is a wheat cent. 1950S. And on the reverse, it says standard computer scale division. U.S. Slicing Machine Incorporated, Laporte, Indiana. And this one, this is kind of meta. This is an encased coin that's advertising a company that encases coins. So they're like, hey, check this out. Pretty cool, huh? We'll make some for your business. So that is very interesting. It says encased coins, promotional coins, www.northernmint.com and their number. Northern Mint. This, I got this. It's it's nicely made, and it's got some enamel inlay. And I tried looking up some of these names, and I I could not really find exactly what this referred to. <sighs> I'll just show it to you. Uh, on this side, it's a Confederate soldier carrying the flag. It says, "A fool is a fool." David McElmore, Director 2008, Monroe CT-187. And on the other side it says, And a CAD is a CAD. Monroe CT-187, Director 2011, J. Hemorrhoid Godfrey. So there's a contentious election or something. This is a lot to go through, uh, you know, to make these coins up, to, to mock someone in some sort of election. A fool is a fool and a cat is a cad. Man, I would love to know the story behind that. Now, these, you'll see these a lot. These are elongated pennies. 
These are common uh, souvenirs. This one's from the New Orleans Aquarium. Uh, this one has a deer on it from the Fossil Rim Wildlife Sanctuary, is that what it says? Fossil Rim Wildlife Center. Yeah, you'll see those all over. I had a collection of them whenever I was a kid. This one I got, and it took me a while to realize what was going on here. It's bigger than an elongated penny, but it does have the shape of an elongated penny stamp in it. So, and I see, like, I thought it was maybe double stamped on this side because there's different legends around. And then the reverse is so interesting. It's this smeared out uh, image. And then I realized what it is. I actually had one of these. This was a larger copper token for the Arizona Mining Association. You can see on the back it says Arizona. There's cacti and things like that. On this side, uh, it says Mining Association Banquet. So this was the Arizona Mining Association. And then someone took this and jammed this into uh, a penny, uh, a souvenir penny maker. So you can see the original stuff that was on there. And then it says TAMS uh, Association Bicentennial, New York. So there's a lot going on in this. It's kind of unique that someone stuck not a penny, but a larger copper metal in there. So I thought that was interesting. A little more commemorative coins. These are uh, 2010 Mount Hood, Oregon National Park. One colorized quarter and one gold-plated quarter. Before I get to the two really good finds I had, I want to show you a couple of other things. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. Just a, you know, a Washington medal. It's been made into an, a pendant. Got you know, a 3D Statue of Liberty commemorative medal. We've got... I'm pretty sure that this is just a, a souvenir recreation. This isn't an original, but this is a brothel token. So, yeah. yeah. Virginia City, brothel casino, food, whiskey, girls. I won't read all of the legends on it because it's a little explicit, but there's that. And speaking of explicit, I saw this. Um, it's got the ram on it. It's an Aries coin. And... When I'm looking for exonumia, stuff like that, to resell, this is something I look for. This will attract, you know, a large cross-section of the population who were born under the sign Aries. A lot of people like to collect things that are associated with their astrological sign. So this is something that I know I can resell. I'm like, all right, great, it's a little Aries coin. And the reverse is positively X-rated. I'm not even going to show it. But... I was surprised to flip that over. I'm like, okay, what's on the other side? I mean, it just says, uh, connect with an Aries. That's pretty innocuous. It's not really saying much. March 21st to April 20th. It's got the ram. It's got the symbol. And on the reverse, it shows someone connecting with an Aries. And it says fearless on the top. So, wow. Okay, now down to the two really good finds. So like I said, this was basically a big tray of tokens, transit tokens, uh, poker chips, medals, commemorative coins, just stuff like that. I wasn't expecting to find an actual, like, nice coin in there, but I've got this 1865 copper nickel, three cent piece. This is a thrickle. Some people call it the three cent nickel, the three cent piece that was made out of silver was called a trime. Anyhow, that was super cool. I got this for five bucks. I was very happy with that. Wait, no. This, I didn't even get a price on this. This was lumped in with all the uh, medals and tokens that I bought. So <laughs> I got that for less than five bucks. Definitely. If you average that out, I probably got that for less than two bucks. 
So, and then this piece, it's not something I probably would have bought, except I picked it up. It's a uh, love token, and the work was very nicely done, and then I realized it's my initials. So, this was a uh, probably a barber dime, and someone took and did this wonderful carving, etching, on the front. Uh, those are my initials, MC. Beautifully done. And this I got for $5. I could not have this made. If I knew someone uh, to do the work for me, I could, not, I could not have, you know, had this made, gotten a Barber Dime, and had this made for 5 bucks. So that was, I think, a steal. Okay, so that's going to be it for tonight. All right, I hope you found some of this interesting. I may have been doing a lot of babbling. Hopefully I'm doing a lot of editing. But like I said, go check out my eBay store as well, because I listed a bunch of those things on there. And I just didn't feel like pulling them all back out. Uh, once I list things on eBay, I, you know, I put them in envelopes, or I put them in flips and stuff, and then I, I pack them all away, uh, only to be pulled out once they sell. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my, my Patreon supporters. You're still hanging on over there. And thank you to my YouTube channel members, Frank P. and Caroline. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Time to get out of here. This is Michael from Penny Haven. Happy hunting.